it's Jan Moss and I've done the part three now of the Universal Success Formula training series on how to create a successful line, uh, line successful business online. And if you, if this is the first video you've watched in this series, then please go back to the video one. It's two days ago because you'll be missing a, the big part and the foundation of this training series. So it, it uh, just a it won't make sense and b it won't work properly. So please go back to that and have a look and do comment or send any questions my way. So it's all getting exciting now. Just to recap, you should have written down your goal, financial goal, and also what um, it, that it will be 90 days and how much you want to create amongst other things. Now there's two parts of this that you, you need to keep in mind when you're doing this, this uh, project and that is you need to have faith before you see the results. If you don't believe this is going to work, it probably won't. Not because it doesn't work, but because it means that your mind won't be programming itself to do the things that are necessary to make it happen. You'll just permanently be thinking, oh well, I'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't matter because then it probably won't. As I say, you, you have to have the right mindset, like anything as I keep banging on about throughout many of my videos. Now, what's important with this step? We're going to go a little, little bit more detail. So we've got the amount, we've got in 90 days. Now, I want you to, to get your pen and paper out and at the end of this video, to do a, a visionary statement. Now, I have mentioned this before, uh, setting your intention. This is a bit more detailed. I've sort of skimmed over it last time. What you want to do is create a sentence or a, a, a page really about this goal that you have, that you want, how much you want to create in your 90 days. It has to be in the present tense and it has to be set on the date that you will have achieved your goal. So whatever date it is today or or tomorrow, whichever day it is you, you're starting from, if this is the last thing at night, even if it is, it doesn't matter, you can still do it from tonight. So if it was, say, the 1st of July today, which it isn't, that would be August, September, October, 1st of October, you would start it off by saying, today is the 1st of October, 2013, which may well date this if this is years ahead, but that's, uh, it gives you an idea of when this was written. So it's the 1st of October 2013 and now you have to picture exactly where you are when this is happening and think about what the weather would be like then, where you're going to be, uh, where you're going to be, so you want to think where you're going to be, who you're going to be with and also all the senses you can, you can think of to add to this, this uh, st statement. So an example Okay, today is the 1st of October 2013, I am sitting in my caravan, it's the most beautiful autumn day and the leaves are just starting to turn and fall from the trees as I look out across the, car across the fields, which you can see behind me hopefully. I can see a patchwork on all the fields, the browns, and there's still some greens and it's really beautiful and I feel quite content. I open my back office into the into my network marketing business and I have a look at the commission tab. I see that I have a commission come in over the last month of $15,000. $15,000, that is what I said. That was what my intention was, to create $15,000 a month by the 1st of October. I feel a surge of excitement run over me and a feeling of being blessed. Rosie, my cat, looks at me and I grab her, pick her up and we have a, a cuddle. It's happened. What I, what I intended to happen has happened. Now all the things that I was wanting to do I'll be able to achieve. I'll be able to help so many more people to achieve their goals. The smell of the coffee in, in the coffee machine 
touches my nose and I flick the switch in order to have a celebratory coffee before ringing my partner to tell him the good news. It's lovely and warm in the caravan, there's a beautiful sun, autumn sun and everything is wonderful and you go on like that, that's the start. You know what I mean, have to really get into it. So I mentioned scents, I mentioned smells, I've said that's the same thing. Smell, sight, and you could go on to do sound. You could say, I hear a chaffinch call outside and as I look down below into the valley, I see a little white van tootling along the road. What else is there? Touch, got Rosie's, Rosie's lovely soft fur and have I mentioned them all? But anyway, as many, as many set, uh, senses as you can. And that's it. So as long as you as you want, if it's not right to start with, keep revising it. But don't, um, as we said in the very beginning, don't wait till you've got that perfect 100% before you start doing anything. You can keep revising it and keep reading it every day. And my suggestion is also, not just write it down because that gets forgotten. If you can if you can print it off somewhere and just put it in some beautiful picture frame, that's excellent. Put it somewhere where you'll see it every day, post it all over the house. If you're like me and want something's been up for a couple of days, you don't see it anymore and you, you don't really notice it's there, then, and anyway, even if you don't, well, what I would really suggest is that you record it and play it at least twice a day, once when you wake up and once when you go to sleep, and if possible, as many times during the day. Put it on in your car have it being played all the time and feel the sensations if you if you were uh, when you're doing the, the the speech for want of a better word mention how it makes you feel how the surge of energy goes through you how your arms go tingly and every time you listen to it have that experience be in the moment it's no point in just reading it today is the first of october 2013 i die um, do so, so, so. It's not going to work. You have to really be in the moment, present tense, feel it, smell it, see it, hear it, and that is the ultimate way to succeed. Now, in the next video, I will be expanding on this and helping to go a little bit further. So please tune in to tomorrow's video vlog. Any questions, please drop them in the comments box or send me an email. And I look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow.